Hello friends. In this video, let us understand about simple linear regression model. So let us create our data first. So I use data.frame function to create this data. I'm creating two vectors here, one for temperature and the other for sales. Written down my temperature and the sales. And I want to know the relationship between these two variables. I have executed this command here and created data. Let me print it. So this is my data. I have named data as my data in this case. This is temperature and the sales respectively. When the temperature is 25 degree, the sales are 35,670. When it is 20, the sales are 36,710 and so on. So if I suppose want to check the data type of these variables, I can use the function class. I need to check the class of the variable 10. So I can execute this command. And I can see that it is numeric. Similarly, for sales column, after executing the command, I can see that it is numeric. Now I want to plot this data. I can simply use the function plot. And because my data is named as my data, so I am telling R to plot my data. Here I can see the temperature on x axis and sales on y axis. And these dots are the intercepts for x and y for temperature and sales respectively. I can see the slope is increasing. When temperature increases, more or less the sales are also increasing. I can also tell R which variable I want on x-axis and y-axis. When I write plot, the first variable it, it plots on x-axis and the second variable it plots on y-axis. Plot my data, first variable temp and the second variable sales. So let's see what will happen. So here on x-axis, I can see R has plotted temp and on y, sales. When I do the other way around, sales on x-axis and temp on y-axis, the sales are been plotted on x-axis and temp on y-axis. Now we need to understand that which variable should we take as my x and y to be plotted on x-axis and y-axis. The linear regression equation is y is equal to ax plus b. So here if we look at the plot, what do we observe? We can observe that the slope is increasing. When temperature increases, sales tend to increase. So behind that, we need to understand our intuition. There seems to be a positive relationship between sales and temperature as plotted in the graph. But we have to understand whether sales increases when temperature increases or temperature increases when sales increases. Temperature cannot increase when sales increases. So it is the other way around actually. So sales tend to increase when temperature increases. Therefore, we may say that sales is dependent on temperature. So in that case, we can take sales as our dependent variable, y, and temperature as our independent variable, x. That we need to take our independent variable as x and dependent variable as y. The independent variable here is temperature, which is also our predictor variable or explanatory variable, because it predicts and explains the changes in dependent or our response variable, which is our sales. Or why? Now we want to see that whether our intuition of the relationship between sales and temperature is real or not. So basically, we need to understand the relationship between our two variables, sales and temperature. And as discussed earlier, our linear regression equation is y is equal to ax plus b. And for this, we need to use a function called ln. So we may understand about LM by typing help LM or question mark LM. For running LM function, I need a formula and data. So my formula, I need to define what is my Y and X. So my first variable is my Y and the second variable is my X. So I need to state here my Y, which is sales, and then my X, which is temp. And here, data is my data which we just constructed through a data frame function. And through this LM function, I can fit the linear model. 
So I have named this regression as my regression. So after executing, I need to see its summary. So let me execute this summary. And here are the results. So we can see summary of residuals, coefficients. In coefficients, we can see the estimates, standard error, p-value, and p-value. The LM equation is y is equal to a plus bx, where y is sales, a is our intercept, and x is the temperature. B is the slope of temperature. If I use these results in this equation, I can write the estimate of intercept 8414.8 in place of A. And B is the slope of temperature, which is 1105.4. I can write here. This is a fitted linear model which R gave to me. Let us discuss the p-value here. The p-values are the values for estimated parameters and it tests whether estimates for slope of x are equal to zero or not. The p-values are also given for intercept, but we are not generally interested in that. We are basically interested in our x variables, whether they are significant or not. So if the estimate for slope of x slope of temperature is zero it means that it is not helpful in our model so that is why we want p-values to be statistically significant so we are interested in the p-values with star for accepting a temperature variable is statistically significant we need its p-value less than five percent or 0 0.05 so here we may see that we need one star but we may see here we have three stars. So three stars is even better than one star. So it means that it is very significant. So very significant p-value indicates that we may predict sales value from our temperature variable reliably. Next, we can see that residual standard error, multiple r squared. Multiple r squared is the same as r squared. So it suggests that temperature can explain 91.17% of variation in sales, which is pretty good. Then we have adjusted R square. It is a modified version of multiple R square, modified by number of predictors in the model. And then we can see F statistics, DF, which degrees of freedom, and P value. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.